Hi guys, this is Andrea and welcome to the next video on AF Swift tutorials. In this video, I'd like to explain you future promise in Swift. So first, let's talk briefly about what the future is. Future is a context for a value that might not yet exist. Generally, we use future to represent the eventual completion or failure of an asynchronous operation. Swift comes with a native implementation of futures as a part of a combined framework. Therefore, future uh, could be treated as a publisher in Swift uh, world. Promise is essentially a closure that accepts a single result parameter. In combined realm, future is a publisher. Future obeys all publishers' laws and supports all operations with publisher. With a promise, we're initializing the future. We can fulfill the future and pass a success parameter to promise, or we can reject a future when we are uh, pasting an error to the promise. Now let's go to code and see that on a practical examples. First, let's create a simple future. As a future is part of combine framework, we need to import combine. Unlike many other types in Swift, future has callback based initializer. It means that we initialize in the future with a callback closure. And this closure takes one parameter called promise. In order to fulfill a future, we call promise and paste success. And future waits for int parameter, so we can return one. In order to get the value, we need to subscribe to a future like uh, to any other publisher in combined framework. All right, and now we can run the code and we're getting one and future is finished. If we try to add another promise, for instance, success and return to, if we try to return another value from future, it won't work because future is one shot and it finishes right away, it receives a value or error. Another feature of future, it's asynchronous. So let's create an example for that. Now let's run the code. We should get hello in two seconds. Our future two is very similar to future one, but it won't work because it requires to be stored in cancelables. So let's first create a cancelable set. And now we can store it in set cancelables. All right, and now we can run our code. And in two seconds, we're getting hello and our future is finished. And the third example, let's create a URL session and try to wrap it inside of a future. We'll create another future. So now we have a future three that has embedded inside URL session data task. And we're using a future promise much like we would use a callback, uh, success and failure. 
but instead of callback we're using promise failure when we are encountering an error or promise success when we need to return a value. But now instead of using callback we just need to subscribe to a future 3 to get the value. We're using future 3 and sync method. And also we need to store it in consumable set. Alright, so we are getting our code from JSON placeholder and our future is finished. So that's it with futures. Quick explanation. Hope this video will help you to understand future. If yes, give this video a like, consider subscribing to this channel for more videos. And thank you for watching and I will see you next episode. Bye bye.